This video looks at finding fractions of amounts. You might first want to check out my other video on finding simple fractions of amounts if you're not sure how to find a half or a quarter or a third of something. So in this video we're going to have a look at fractions of things like this. Things like finding three quarters of 16. Now, the first thing you need to do is say, right, I want to find one quarter of 16. Well, a quarter is the same as dividing by 4, so 16 divided by 4 is 4. Now, this is one quarter, I want three quarters, so I'm going to need to work out three lots of one quarter. So I'll be doing three lots of one quarter, which is four. So the answer is twelve. Let's have a look at another one. What about finding two thirds of fifteen? Well, first of all, I'm going to find out what one third is. So one third of fifteen. Well, a third is the same as dividing by three. So I'll do fifteen divided by three, which is five. That's given me one third. I want two thirds. So I'm going to do two lots of one third, which is five. Two times five is ten. And one more, what about seven tenths of um, sixty? Okay, first thing I'm going to do is find one tenth of sixty. So that's going to be 60 divided by 10, which is 6. I want 7 tenths, so I'll do 7 lots of 1 tenth. So that gives me 42. A quick way to remember how to do this, if you're finding a fraction of an amount, all I'll do is first of all divide by the bottom number, which is the denominator, and then multiply by the top number, which is the numerator. And that will work in all cases if you have to find fractions of amounts. To do these quickly on a calculator, if you happen to have one of the new style calculators with your fraction button that looks like that, all you'd need to do is type in three quarters. Now the problem is your calculator doesn't have an of button. But what we've got to remember in maths is that of or lots of usually means times. So we're doing three quarters of 16. So either type it in using your fraction button, so you'd put in three quarters times 16. Or if you've not got a fraction button on your calculator, you could interpret that fraction line as a divide, so you could write three divided by 4 times 16 and that's how to work out fractions of amounts with and without a calculator.